Hello everyone, and welcome or welcome back. In this tutorial, we will talk about my blocks or functions and extensions in Scratch. Also, we will show you how to play with them and use them to make your project more interesting and lively. So, without wasting our precious time, let's get started. Infinite Blocks Probably, the best place to start learning about more blocks is by creating one. Let's start by going into the actual section of the block. If you click on my blocks on the left, you will see a button called, Make a Block. After you click on this, you will see a pop-up to create your new block. From here, you can create a new block, that can be used in the same way, as other blocks you've learned about. There are three advanced options you can select here as well, to add to a new block. For a simple block, though, you don't need to add any of these. For now, keep it simple and just make a normal block called running. A running block should appear in your workspace that says define running, and there should be a running block in your my block section. However, the running block won't do anything until you tell it what it's supposed to do. So, let's define running. Under the define running block, let's add some blocks. First, we will set the direction and location of the sprite, then, we will glide the sprite to a new location, in 2 seconds. Then, we will change the direction of the sprite. Then, we will set the rotation style to left and right. Let me set the direction of the sprite in the right direction. Then, it will glide back to the original position in 2 seconds. And pop up the save block for another 2 seconds. Now, when you put the running block under an events hat block, like when flag clicked block, it will start working. The best way to think about custom blocks is that all of the blocks of code connected to the define running block are inside the one running block that is under the when green flag clicked block. So whenever you use the running block now, it just does all of these blocks. This lets you get your sprite doing these moves without having to copy all of the other blocks each time you want it to run. It is time to talk about a few names. When you create a new block, you are really creating something called a function. The function is the group of all the blocks, including your new defined block. It's a good idea to try to use a name, that makes it clear what the blocks are going to do, so, you don't forget later on. For example, using the name reset is okay, but reset look is better, since, it's clear that the block is going to reset the look of only the sprite but not anything else. Run without screen refresh. There is one other setting you can make when creating your new custom block. That's the option to run without screen refresh. You can turn this on when you first create the block. The original pop-up you saw when you created the block will appear and you can click on the run without screen refresh checkbox. Let's see how this works. Let's create a new block called custom running. Without the run without screen refresh, select it, and add one oval input for the steps that it should make. Position your sprite in the bottom left corner and point it in the direction you want it to glide. Then have it wait one second, so when you check run without screen refresh later, you can see it move to this location, and then do the custom glide for 150 steps. Now it's time to see it in action. Hit the spacebar and watch your sprite move across the screen. Now right-click on the custom glide block, choose edit, and then click on the run without screen refresh box. Hit OK, and then click the space bar for your sprite to take off. Most likely, you won't even see it take a single step from the beginning, until it reaches its destination on the stage. What's happening is that, without screen refresh, Scratch doesn't show the sprite in its new location, after each move one step block. It still does the actions, but they are so fast that you can't see them. It's only when the custom glide underscore steps block finishes, that Scratch draws the sprite on the stage at its final location. This means that there is less work for the computer to do, and so, it can go much faster than it otherwise would. That's why the sprite makes it from the starting point to the destination way faster. Extensions In the bottom left corner of Scratch, you'll notice a blue button with some white blocks and A plus sign. You can click on that and you can get even more blocks. This Add Extension button takes you to the Extensions section. Music The first extension you'll see is music. Using these blocks, you can play instruments and drums, even make your own songs. 
There are a whole bunch of different instruments you can choose from. You might have heard of some, like the cello and saxophone, but there are also some really weird ones, like the vibraphone and the marimba. Try playing around with different instruments to hear what they sound like. There are six stacked blocks and one reporter block in the music extension. Play drum for beats block, plays a specified drum sound for a specified number of beats. Rest for beats block, pauses the sound in that script for the given number of beats. Play note for beats block, plays the specified note for the specified number of beats. Set instrument to block, sets the instrument to specified instrument. Set tempo to block, sets tempo to specified amount. Change tempo by block, changes the tempo by specified amount, either faster or slower. Pen Now that you've become a master musician, you should learn to draw too? In the same extension section, where you first saw music, you should see a box labeled, Pen. Click on that and you should get all the pen blocks to show up. You can use any sprite to draw. The sprite is going to act like a hand on the pen. That means its location and direction are going to tell the pen where to draw. And just like the sprite can change its location and direction, the pen itself can change how wide it is, what color it is, and whether it is down or up. When the pen is down that means it's drawing, like pressing a pen down to the paper in real life. When it's up it's not drawing anything, like when you take the pen off the paper. Video Sensing Extension the Video Sensing Extension is an extension that allows webcams to interact with projects through video sensing. If you have a webcam, you can use it to add video to the background of your stage. You can even use the camera to interact with your sprites. There are two stack blocks, one hat block and one reporter block. If you try out the following blocks, you will probably notice that the movement is really glitchy. You can use a win video motion greater than underscore hat block, to help stop this. This block, lets you decide to do something only, once the amount of motion is over the amount you set in this block. This means, it won't pick up any tiny little movements, that you don't want scratch to sense. Text-to-speech extension The text-to-speech extension is a scratch extension. There are three stack blocks in this extension, and there are five types of voices that can be selected with the set voice to block. Alto. Standard female voice. Tenor. Standard male voice. Squeak. High-pitched female voice. Giant. Deep male voice. Kitten. Repeatedly says meow but at a different length. Google Translate. The Google Translate extension allows you to change any text in your project to different languages. Whenever your sprite might say something, you can use the Google Translate extension to make it show up in the viewer's language automatically. The input translates the same message into the language of the player playing your project. You can also ask the player what language he or she wants by creating a new language variable. Then, use the ask underscore and wait block, and have your translate underscore to underscore block, translate everything to that language. The translate to block only works when connected to the internet. If a certain string was already translated when online, Scratch will remember it for next time it is translated, even when offline. Well that's all we have for you in this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.